After you've mastered your eddy turns, peelouts, and fairies, you can start using rocks in the river to really get a big benefit out of your playing. And class two rapids are a great spot to start with that. Um, if you look at the rock behind me here, it has a nice gentle upstream face to it, a nice low angle. And those are the best rocks to start on because you can paddle up nice and high on them and then either just slide off the side or try and rock spin on them. Um, but they're nice and solid. What you're looking for with a good rock is that it has a pillow of water that forms on the upstream side. So after the current comes in, it pillows up on this upstream side and then goes around each side. If you don't see that pillow, you want to be careful of those rocks. Another rock that we want to look at is a rock that has a much steeper upstream face. A rock with a really steep upstream face is going to be good to splat vertically against, but it's going to be much harder to do cartwheels on. Um, good for a lot of just harder splat moves, harder to pull your bow up, so you have to be a more aggressive paddler to use a rock with a steep face. And then one rock that we want to really avoid are the undercut rocks, which is just upstream of us here. And uh, those rocks will have a kind of a cave look to them. They won't have that pillow of water on the upstream side, and the current in the eddy behind the rock will tend to bubble up more and uh, just look funky and weird, and you want to avoid those.